Hi guys, my name is Ange. Welcome to my channel Frugal where I am documenting our family's journey to becoming debt free. In today's video, you guys know it's been a crazy couple of weeks and I just want to be brutally, brutally honest. We are putting our debt free journey on hold. We're not putting our budgeting on hold. I'm not going to put this YouTube channel on hold. I still plan on making YouTube videos about the entire year of our debt-free journey. And if I like it, I might even do next year too. We'll see. But I did want to say that we are putting it on pause, obviously, because these are crazy uncertain times right now. We just don't know what's going to happen day to day. Nobody does. And there's just a lot of misinformation, uncertainty during these times. You guys all know. I don't even need to tell you. We're all living it, right? I wanted to say a few updates for us. So A, we're putting our debt-free journey on, on hold. Any extra dollar is going to go to savings right now. I really, really, really hope that in three or four months when this is all done and things kind of level out, again, that we have like five, six, seven thousand dollars in savings and we can throw most of that to debt. That would be amazing and throw a lot of it into our local economy. People are losing jobs left and right and um, people are getting laid off and it's a very, very sad thing. Sad thing, but I don't need to tell you guys that. It's crazy. You don't realize how much freedom that you have until it kind of starts getting taken away. Kind of weird to go to the grocery store. I just went to the grocery store yesterday and I had this whole meal plan for the next week, week and a half of, of groceries. And uh, there was like two or three recipes I couldn't make because the stuff wasn't on the shelves. And um, yeah, I, I go. And luckily when you are trying to pay off debt, you do lots of like pantry challenges, lots of what can I make up just so I don't have to go out to the grocery store until payday kind of challenges. And so those have kind of prepared me for this. But it is definitely weird to, for the first time, at least in my lifetime, go to the grocery store and not be able to find everything that's on your list. And when you do find something, you don't have options. <laughs> You're like, well, this is the only kind of this, so I need to get it. It's it's a bizarre, scary, uncertain time um, for sure. The second update I wanna give you guys is we, we have added to our debt. Phil had pneumonia last month and we had just through prescriptions and x-rays and co-pays, we burned through what little was in our emergency fund. And then I had just went shopping for the week and we had like 40 or $50 left in our account, which is usually fine to last us for, a ne for the next couple weeks just because we didn't need gas. Um, but I was like, oh, I can make all this work and then maybe buy like just some fresh stuff towards the end when Phil gets paid. Well, then last Friday, all of a sudden, Things got announced. The president declared a state of emergency. And all of a sudden on my Facebook feed, and I'm sure you guys, this was your experience too, on my Facebook feed, there was all of a sudden this, this um, panic. And people, and I started noticing like all these people saying, Walmart's getting cleared out. I can't find toilet paper anywhere. I can't find cleaning supplies anywhere. I can't find flu medication. And so I instantly, started panicking as well. Absolutely. I started freaking out and I started emotionally spending. I started stress spending. I started impulsively spending and um, I freaked. I did. I freaked out. So we had, like I said, we had $50 in our bank account. Um, Phil still had a week and a half to get paid. And I started going, oh my gosh, what happens if our the dog food runs out? The cat food runs out? Any food runs out. I got two little boys. I got two animals. Phil and I need to eat too. Um, also, we have some prescriptions that we need to re-up. What if, what if pharmacies close down? Obviously, I don't think they will close down. But you know, you just start going, oh my gosh, if everything's shutting down for a few weeks, you just instantly think of, what do I need? What are, what are the worst case scenarios? So I just, I hopped on Amazon and I got, now, Ironically enough, I had just bought toilet paper like two or three days before last Friday. So the funny thing is, is that was like the one smart decision that I didn't even knowingly make. So I didn't even, I wasn't even looking for toilet paper. That wasn't even an issue, but I was just like diapers, wipes, um, prescriptions, uh, cold and flu in case we get sick and we can't go to the store. Um, uh, you know, cat food, dog food, gas in our cars. It just seemed like 
I, I was just, I, I, and then obviously anything that we could find in the store, I, sh I went shopping and then Phil went shopping and we both kind of didn't even communicate because about what we were getting. So we kind of double bought on some things like macaroni and cheese and frozen pizza. So Phil and I filled up our entire freezer outside. We filled up our entire freezer in the house. Um, we filled up everything that our pantry could hold. We couldn't find any sort of um, canned veggies. Those were all gone, but I did find some canned fruit and just craziness. So I will let you guys know, I have not fully crunched the numbers yet. I actually even bought some indoor activities for my kids. I bought some of like some, some kids toys that they didn't even need, but it made me feel better to have them. I, like I said, I went crazy. I panicked, I went crazy, and um, and we put a lot of stuff on our credit card, a lot. And yeah, it was spending without thinking, but also in a way, it's weird, I felt calm after we put things on our credit card. Like, I'm not worried about it this time. I feel like there's bigger fish to fry. There's bigger things to worry about right now. Um, and I'm just not concerned with the extra debt right now. Family's taken care of for the next few weeks and we'll pay it back. We'll pay it back on the credit card, it's fine. It's been the first time in our debt-free journey that I have knowingly and intentionally put things on our credit card knowing that we cannot pay it off with the next paycheck. Um, now, our credit card bill just came in before all this happened and it's only 300, so we will be paying that off in full this month. So I guess technically that does give us another full month to pay it off, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But I'll let you guys know when I total up all the numbers about our crazy shopping, mostly me, it was really, cause Phil's just been working like crazy um, right now cause he works in IT, so he's been setting up a ton of people to work from home, so he's been, working like a madman, but it's been me, the one that that I'm watching, I'm watching too much news. I'm on social media too much. I just, part of me was like, why couldn't I have been camping in the middle of nowhere and had no idea this was going on? Cause I feel like I would have been more calm about it. I was just so afraid. I'm like, gosh, I think I can make everything stretch for, for a few weeks until Phil gets paid again. But what if everything shut down in two weeks? And uh, so uh, it sucks that we had a debt this month, but I also am okay with it. I'm okay with it. In this crazy exception, this is one of those, this was absolutely an emergency situation, I feel like. I hope that in three to four months, when everything is better, um, we have money in the bank sitting there and we can absolutely pay off my car. We can hopefully pay off, um, pay off my car, pay off the credit card, and make a whole dent in our appliance bill that we have. And we can start putting some money into the local economy again too. A lot of people are hurting right now. As for this channel and our debt-free journey and documenting it, guys, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still gonna let you know what's going on. I'm still gonna be budgeting. As a matter of fact, ooh, another thing I totally impulse bought was I bought a bigger binder because I was using my, I had two budget binders because the two of them weren't big enough to hold everything. So I bought this huge three inch binder so it fits everything because I just had everything. I had the current month and then other months so tired of dealing with two that I did get a new binder. So I have a new binder and I gave it a whole little uh, facelift here. I got new tabs. I got new pens. I got new this, this is the stuff that I that I was impulsively, I got new cash envelopes, <laughs> you guys. I was, was out of control. I was like, oh, I'm already getting into debt, but I'm gonna really just redo my budget and I'll be, but I did already go through our April budget. I have everything. I have my April spending tracker printed out. We are set to go. Phil gets paid on Wednesday, so I am ready to rumble. It will be, old Ange will be back. We are definitely going down to a bare bones budget until life kind of gets back to normal. Things start opening up again. We can hug each other again and high five each other again and and hang out again and laugh. And it's okay if someone, you know, laughs so hard that they spit their drink and it's on your face. Like, you know, that was, oh, you know what I mean? I am all set in my budget binder for April. I am so excited to just kind of do a restart 
And I know I keep waking up and thinking that this whole thing is a dream and it's, it's not. Um, but just so you know, if you've added debt through this whole thing too, or adding debt, it's okay. Cause I have to, and don't feel shame about it because I don't, I don't. We're taking care of our family. We're making sure our family is okay through this whole thing. And that's all that matters right now is keeping the lights on, keeping the house warm, keeping the utilities on, you know, making sure the electricity is working, lights are working. I'm just, the whole thing's crazy. The whole thing is crazy. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I just really wanted to give you an update on where our debt-free journey is, as I'm sure if you guys are going on a debt-free journey as well, or any financial goals, if you guys are saving up for a trip or anything right now, I'm sure it's on hold as well, just because we kind of don't know what's gonna happen in the next couple of weeks. Um, Hoping for the best, but also preparing for maybe some more closures of things. I don't know. I'm supposed to say I even have a dentist appointment this week, and I it's just for a cleaning, and I have no idea if they're even going to be still open by then, I, unless it's an emergency. So we'll see. It's kind of crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, I don't. It feels weird to even say that. Never mind. Don't like. Don't don't, subs, don't subscribe. It just feels dirty to say that during this whole thing. So, um, never mind. I mean, if you like it, cool. And we want to subscribe. That's cool. But I don't want to be like all oh, like and subscribe. It feels icky right now. Anyway, guys, be safe, be healthy, and be kind to each other. There's so many people out there working so hard. Um, and as a wife of an IT guy, also be kind to those IT people too because they're working their butts off so a lot of people can work from home um, during this time. Shout out to the IT people. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to everyone just doing the best they can do right now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.